again to another session of understanding about computer organization and computer architecture. My name is uh, Moshiri Nyaga. So I'll be taking you through this session. Uh, the main objective of this session is to explain the operational units of a computer system. Uh, so we first start by trying to get the difference between the computer organization and computer architecture. Although it's very difficult to give a precise definition uh, about computer organization and computer architecture, a consensus uh, has been reached about the area covered by both areas meaning the computer organization and computer architecture. So uh, the computer architecture refers to those attributes of a system that have a direct impact on the logical execution of a program. Examples of those architectural attributes include the instruction set, the number of bits used to represent various data types, the input-output mechanism, the memory address techniques. While on the other side, on the computer architecture, oh, sorry, computer organization, refers to the operational units and the interconnections that realize the architectural specific. All right. So when we talk about the operational units, we are talking about the control signals, um, the interfaces between computers and the peripherals, the memory technology being used in the computer. So um, the organizational attributes include those hardware details transparent to the programmer, such as the control signals, interfaces between computer peripherals and the memory technology uh, used. So um, we can proceed so that we really understand these two terms and how they are uh, integrated with one another. We have the structure and the function, right? So the structure, um, a computer um, is, um, is a system that has a specific objective and contains so many electronic components and this system can be divided into two uh, areas that's the structure and the function the structure is the way in which the components are integrated and on the other side the functions are the operation of each individual component as part of the structure so uh, starting maybe from the uh, bottom, you can see uh, both the structure and um, the functioning of a computer can be um, can be explained um, uh, in some very basic um, function. Like on the computer function, the basic functions that a computer can perform in general, there are four, right? The data processing the data storage, the data movement, and the data control. The, uh, when you talk about the data, data may take a wide variety of forms and the range of processing requirement is broad. So it's very essential to really understand that a computer stores data. Even if a computer is processing uh, any type of data, regardless of the form, we have to all agree that it stores data. We have either a computer can be storing data temporarily or permanently. Um, files of the data are stored in the subs uh, subsequent retrieval and uh, depending on the retrieval and how, uh, uh, how frequent they are updated. So on the other side, we have the computer must be able to move data between itself and the outside world 
whenever we talk about the outside world, we bring the element of their liveware or the humans. Uh, the computer's operating environment consists of devices that serve as either the sources, of, the sources or destination of data. When data is received from a device that is directly connected to a computer, the process is uh, basically referred to as the input-output. Right? So we have now another concept that you need to be uh, to be familiar with, we have either the data is being inputted or is being produced out, which is the output. So we have the uh, the abbreviation I stroke O, meaning the input output. These de devices are also referred to as the peripheral devices. When data is moved around these uh, devices, there must be the control right they must to have control these are um these are very basic functions that every data cannot just move around the system computer system so there is an element of control right the control is exercised by individuals who provide computers with instructions within the computer, which manages the resources. So apart from data, remember, data can also be referred to uh, as a resource. And control is very, very uh, important when it comes to the functioning of a computer. On the other side, uh, on the other side, we have the, the structural components of a computer. So the, the structural components are uh, the central processing unit that controls the operation uh, of the computer and performs its data processing functions, often uh, or simply referred to as the processor. So uh, as you move on, you just realize that we will stop using the word uh, CPU or central processing processing unit and we will be talking about a processor simply we are meaning one and the same thing they can be used um, interchangeably um, on the other another structural components we have uh, the main memory which stores data we have the input output that moves data between or data between the computers and its external environment uh, Something else that uh, commonly most people don't discuss is the system interconnection. Um, these uh, interconnection provide communication among the CPU memory input, uh, uh, the input output uh, system. Uh, a common um, example of a system interconnection is by the use of the system buses which consist of a number of wires that work together to to move data from different location so um uh, i will take you back to the processor of the cpu which is a, a bit a complex component mm -hmm. and it's divided into different Look, uh, different parts, which is we have the control unit, uh, which controls the operation of the CPU and hence the computer. And then we also have the arithmetic and the logic um, unit that performs the computer data processing. Still on the CPU, we have registers that provide internal, um, we have that provides. Uh, internal storage of the CPU. And then lastly, on the st structural um, components, we have the CPU um, interconnection. Uh, these are some of the mechanisms that provide communication among the control unit, uh, arithmetic logic unit, and the registers. So, uh, thank you for 
watching. Uh, a video will we will be posting more materials regarding the computer components. Um, so thank you.